Hello everybody, it's Murialda here once again, and welcome back to a box. Yes, we've got a box in front of us, and it's a not large box or anything, and it's a pretty plain boring box, but believe it or not, this is an Amiyami box, even though it doesn't say Amiyami on it. Woohoo! So we've got a figure to unbox. But, but, before we get to unboxing the figure, I have Tamamo news. Yes, Tamamo news. So I got impatient. I can't wait for any more Tamamo stuff to show up. So I found a little Tamamo acrylic standee. Yes, it's casual Tamamo. So yay! Woohoo! She's from Fate Extra CCC Foxtail. And she's a little tiny feet standee, but it's still Tamamo. If you're on the Discord, you may have even seen the quick unboxing video I did of her. It's a Discord exclusive. But that's not the only Tamamo that I got. I also got RGB Tamamo. Yes. <laughs> it's a fairly large acrylic standee. Um, and it's got some white lines on there and everything. And it RGB. So, yeah. You can change colors. Red, green, blue, white. Various different colors and shades. You can do fading and everything. Again, there's a Discord exclusive unboxing. I did have to do surgery on her base because cheap Chinese crap. But we got it to work, and just to compare the sizes. So now we'll go ahead and put RGB and Standy Tamamo over to the side so that they can be in the background. But we'll start looking at the box. Before we look at the box, it is a Genshin figure. So I brought out Mona for comparison. <laughs> so this one, it was in my maybe list at AmiAmi for ever since she went up for order really and well finally I just decided I like her enough I'm going to buy her and since the box is so small DHL shipping from Amiyami was actually reasonable so let's go ahead and get her open and we shall look at her I also have another figure that is currently in Chicago customs going through EMS process so hopefully we'll have another figure soon. Let's see here. How to do this without exposing addresses. I think this side will be okay. So we tilt the box down. And open the box. And hey, there's an Ami Ami thank you card. That's why it's in a box like this. There's also a little uh, uh, clear file. Amiami thank you card for March. Got Amiko and Liliko, and they're wearing bunny ears. Nice outfits and bunnies. I wonder if they're getting ready for Easter or something. Spin around to the back, and she's uh, in a nice little dress. So we'll put that off to the side. Uh, you might be able to tell it's Ganyu. And I think this is probably a like packing box from the manufacturer. So we'll pull that out. And there's no extra padding or anything, so we'll try to have her drop gently. Come on. There we go. And hopefully I didn't expose an address. She is wrapped in tissue paper, so obviously we must rip that off. And there we go. So we have Ganyu. Ganyu comes with a little clear file. So yay. Don't really use these, but it's nice to have. Um, so this is Ganyu, the Planet Lune Gaze version. She's from Genshin Impact. I have never played Genshin Impact. I don't plan on ever playing Genshin Impact, but they have some very nice designs. And I like Ganyu. Uh, she is a 1 7 scale figure manufactured by Apex Toys. So, currently not allowed on MSC. Maybe in a couple weeks she will be. Uh, in China, Ganyu released on January 11th of 2023. In Japan, I'm not exactly sure when she came into stock or anything. Uh, I ordered her on March 13th of 2023. She, AmiAmi still said uh, she was pre-ordered. The next day I got an invoice... And on my invoice, it says she was in stock. On her page, it still said pre-order. 
but I paid for her on the 14th of March. She shipped out on the 22nd and got here today on the 23rd, so fast DHL shipping. Uh, for Ganyu, I paid 15,670 yen, or $123.41, and I paid 3,827 yen, or $30.14 for DHL shipping. The funny thing is, uh, Surface Premium cost 3,640 yen, so that's 187 yen cheaper than DHL, but it would have taken, you know, four, six, eight, a year, months, years, whatever. So for less than two dollars, I'll go with DHL shipping. <laughs> so yeah, this is Ganyu. Uh, like I said, ever since she went up for pre-order, I was had her in my bookmarks on Amiami. And eventually, I just decided I like Ganyu. I, I post a lot of her, like, fan art and everything on the Discord. So I love her design and everything. So I finally decided I want her. I'll get her. Uh, there is the top of her box. And plain boring bottom. So yeah, got you. There's all the little information if you want to read it. Um, she does come with a little extra peg piece. That is not for this base or anything. If you got the uh, Apex's Ningguang figure... And forgive me if I'm saying names wrong. I Like I said, I've never played the game. Whatever. But if you got that Ningguan figure and spent the ridiculous amounts for shipping for it, since it's in a wooden crate, you can actually use that uh, stand piece to peg on you into, her, into Ningguan's base. I am not getting that figure, so I can't show you. But if you look on HPOI, they've got some pictures of it. So I've rambled enough. Let's get her open. So, there's actually only appears to be one seal. We'll get her open. Um, another thing, I've always called Ganyu like a goat, but then someone said she's a sheep. So, I asked around and I started Googling and I couldn't find any conclusive information on if she's a goat or a sheep. Obviously, everything said that, you know, she's whatever it is in the game. But... One thing I did find is they call her Coco Goat. So she is Coco Goat. <laughs> so we've got instructions, Apex Innovation, everything. I doubt, highly doubt we'll need this. So, you know, I'm not even going to open them. If you get her, you can, but she's a simple enough figure that I'm not going to open her. Oh, you know, I completely forgot. I had pulled out another phone. And if I get it set up, there is a picture of her from HPOI attached to Ningguang's base, so you can see down there. So yeah, put that off to the side, and there is Ganyu in her box, or her blister packaging. Looks pretty much the same as in the box because, well, the box is clear plastic. So yay. Spin around and back to the front. Let's go ahead and open her. So standard... Actually, only like one piece of tape on that side, uh, taped on the top as well, which is not standard. And then one piece down there. And, uh, blister comes apart pretty easy and plastic fell out, out the back. Uh, we'll pull out her base. So it's kind of like a sky cloud theme. So kind of artistic and everything. She does have metal pegs. And it says Apex Innovations, probably Genshin Impact and copyright MiHoYo. All rights reserved, made in China. And it's actually got some weight to the base. So yay. Let's set that down, put that off to the side. Uh, next, we'll pull out her little globe thing that she holds, or we'll attempt to. So, it's a little clear globe. It's got kind of like clouds and faces. Well, maybe not faces, but clouds on it. 
and you can see through it kinda and then it does have a peg coming off the uh, one one part of there's not really a top or bottom to the globe is there so we'll set that down um over here like i said this is the extra uh, peg piece that you can peg into ningguang space we'll put that back in the thing and we'll pull out ganyu so she has some bubble wrap under her front flap and then she's got some plastic on her hair and she is deplastic so let's go ahead and set her down and get this out of the way and we shall look at Ganyu. So she's got a nice face to her. Nice eyes are kind of like orange and yellow and blue and kind of hazy looking. It's got a nice gentle smile on her face, kind of looking off to the side. It's got some nice like sky blue hair with some uh, darker gradients and everything. She does have some horns which makes me think goat or ram or whatever, which is unusual because that would be, normally be a, you know, male. Uh, she's got a hoge, little messy hair, short hair, but then a long, long ponytail type hair. Lots of extra strands and it's definitely darker at the bottom. And they're pretty pointy. I'm looking and don't really see obvious glued on pieces until we look at the top of her head, there's one. Uh, she does have a bow on the back of her outfit under her hair. It's got nice designs on it. She is wearing kind of a cowbell as an accessory, nice uh, little choker. And then she's kind of wearing this bodysuit. She has nice human normal sized uh, cocoa goat milk producers. <laughs> but. It's a very tight-fitting, form-fitting bodysuit, and then she has the china dress type outfit over top of it. She does have the uh, sh sleeves that don't attach to anything. She's got some very long fingers on her. If we look on her right hand, that is where the hole is for that little globe thing to peg into. Uh, around her waist, she has a like a rope talisman ornament thing and little design on the gold jewel or, or blue jewel. If we look on her back, that rope continues around her back. She's got a nice skirt. The colors are very like gentle and serene looking to me. Uh, the If we look under the flap, we do see there's a belly button kind of at the very tip. She's kind of wearing like a bunny suit leotard thing. And then the body stocking underneath that. Uh, you definitely see how tight it is and how like her body lines are and everything. Uh, on her thighs, she's got a couple lighter stri stripes painted. And then she's got these like gold arrow type things on the sides. Uh, she's got pretty nice booty hiding under there. You can see the shading in the knee area. Then her shoes, uh, she's got more of those like rope things around her ankles with some clover bows and nice reasonable shoes. Got little, looks like they're supposed to be like bronze wings on them, and decent heels. They actually look fairly comfortable for shoes. So yeah, she looks pretty good. I am happy. So let's go ahead set her down so I can adjust the camera and her globe is rolling away so we'll tilt down and we'll get her onto the base should be fairly simple there we go little little bit of force and she goes slides right on and then the globe let's see if we can get that into her hand trying to reach around the camera to do this so the hole is lined up okay we are back there was an amber alert so the phone kind of died so trying to push and 
I'll, I'll worry about it later when the camera's not in the way. Uh, her pinky is very flexible, so be aware of that and be careful. But yeah, she's kind of holding it. I, like I said, when I don't have a camera in my face, I'll try to shove it in farther or whatever. But Ganyu is now assembled. So we'll go ahead and put her on the turntable, bring her closer, rearrange the camera again. And we'll do a spinny spin spin. And we'll tilt it up just a little more. So yeah, I mean, it's a relatively simple figure in that she's just standing there holding her globe and everything. But she's got a very detailed outfit. Lots of gradients and everything. There's no heavy-handed, overly bad shading like a lot of figures have. Especially on the white, a lot of times they put so much gray shading that it just looks dirty. But, yeah. I loved her color scheme. Uh, her design is great. Like I said, I I post a lot of her fan art because I see it and I'm like, wow, that's really nice. So, yay. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on her face. And we'll do a spin around up here. Move the camera over. And yeah, just this nice gentle smile. And it looks pretty good. Then we'll go down to her cocoa goat milk producers. <laughs> yeah, it'll look better once I get this uh, globe thing pushed into her hand a little bit more. It'll be more centered. It's kind of supposed to be like hovering between her hands. But nice uh, spine line on her back. Don't really see much in the way of shoulder blades, though. And then we'll go down to her waist area. Love the little, like, golden designs on her dress and everything. And then we'll do the legs. Come on. So yeah, I am happy to have her. She looks good. Uh, like I said, she, I always thought she looked good. I just wasn't sure if I would ever buy her. Because I don't play Genshin. And I doubt I ever will. I mean, I might at some point. But let's compare her with uh, Wonderful Works' Mona. So they're both 1 7th. They do seem quite similar in size and scale and everything. Body structure, there's no obvious scale differences. Both got nice booties. And just good sculpt detail, good paint job. They're both blue themed. There's Mona's booty. And yeah, they're like normal human proportions, which in the anime type world, you don't get much of, but I am, it's nice. So yeah, uh, if I had to say, Mo Mona's skin is a little bit whiter while Ganyu's is maybe a little bit more yellow, but it's not going to matter much when you put them on display. It's just when they're under bright lights. So we'll go ahead and put Mona back off to the side. And we'll focus on Ganyu again. Uh, she does wobble a little bit. And that's okay. Just be careful when you walk by her. Just some different angles. We'll go up and do like viewing her from above. Side. Yep, trying to just get some fan fancy smanchy artist artsy type shots of her with shaky handheld camera. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go ahead and put that back in the stand. And again, she comes with a pretty large uh, clear file. Again, I don't really use these. I don't really know what you use them for, but it's a nice artwork of her. So yeah, this is Ganyu. She is from Genshin Impact. She is a 1 7 scale figure manufactured by Apex Toys. Uh, in China, she released on January 11th of 2023. I 
Got her at Ami Ami for 15,670 yen. I think if you pre-ordered her when she went up originally, she was cheaper. But that's what happens when you wait. You get the ta you get taxed. So yay. She wasn't pricey, reasonably priced. Shipping was good for her. They didn't put her in a giant box or anything. Definitely worth the money, I think. So, and then of course, Tamamos. Gotta love Tamamos. And Mona. So yeah, that is my unboxing of Ganyu. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I've got another figure that is coming EMS and she is currently, she arrived in uh, Chicago, so she'll be in customs. And then however long that takes, I'll get her probably next week. So, yep, fancy cat's on her way. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed Ganyu. I'm happy with her. I'm out. See you next time. Bye-bye.